The first sawmill in America was built in 1623 in the state of Maine. Maine then went on to become the main supplier of lumber between the years of 1650 and 1850 in the United States of America. In 1849, the gold rush fueled the migration of individuals to California. The timber needs grew dramatically. July 1st, 1862. The Pacific Railway Act was signed into law by President Abraham Lincoln. This act provided federal government support for the building of the first transcontinental railroad. It was completed on May 10, 1869. Prior to the Civil War in this country, railroads were relatively new and unused. However, during the rebellion, railroads came of age, and so did the timber industry. With the growth of railroads, railroad ties were also in demand. Many trees were cut down from old growth forests to provide timber for these ties. After the consumption of the nation's northeastern trees, the United States then turned to, to the Pacific Northwest to supply the growing nation's needs. These trees included redwoods and sequoias. In the year 1960, Congress passes the first Multiple Use Sustainable Yield Act. National forests must now be managed for all people and all uses, including logging. In 1974, the Forest and Rangeland Renewable Resources Planning Act calls for the management of renewable resources on national forest lands.